A good thing about making little bite-sized pies is that if you eat the whole pie, you don't have to really feel that bad about it. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another vegan nugget in my kitchen. It's a Christmas miracle. Now I say that because it's not very often that you see me outside of my little blue box that I have recently been filming so many of my videos in, but Today's video is part of a cruelty-free Christmas collab between me and eight other channels. Now the last collaboration that I put together was the Epically Ethical Thanksgiving Dinner, and you guys seem to just eat that right up. Ha. <laughs> eat it up. Because it was about food. So this time around, I thought that I would try my hand at a recipe, which is not my strong suit. Now if you missed the introduction video for this whole collab shebang, watch it here. Or is it? No, it's here. Because it's fun to start at the beginning when you're OCD like me. If you know me, you know that I like to keep things really simple. And my last recipe video on raw vegan pecan pies certainly made that evident. Now today's recipe video is going to be a little more complex, but not by too much. Today we're going to make a banana cream date pie, and I'll share with you several different variations of this recipe. Some are raw vegan, and some are a little more in the raw till four category. Ubi has joined us in the kitchen. Come here, you want to you say hi? She's scrounging around to see if she can get in on our banana cream action. You have to be patient. All right, let's get on to the pies. Now your typical banana cream pie contains eggs and butter, both byproducts of severe animal suffering and ingredients that are not too kind on your insides. Plus, those recipes are pretty complex to make, at least compared to what I do. So there's that added element of the animal suffering with all of the work that you have to put into them. And yes, I did just call you an animal. But my recipe is cruelty-free on all fronts, including you. So let's get to the ingredients. Now all you need for the raw vegan version of this is bananas, dates, and pie tins. And you can either do a full size pie or you can rock it out bite size style with a mini pie. For the more raw till four version, you can add whichever kind of vegan milk you want and graham crackers to your list of ingredients, as long as they're not honey graham crackers. And yes, there's a reason for that. Now I've tried making this pie a variety of ways. And there's an eat it now version and a wait a bit version. I'm sure you know which version I prefer. For the eat it now version, you're gonna want your bananas pre-frozen. So now let's prepare our pie tins. Now there are two different directions you can go with this. If you want a more classical taste to your pie and you're not a strict 80-10-10 raw vegan, you can use a graham cracker crust. This one comes pre-made and I made sure that it's not one that contains honey or any animal byproducts. And for your raw vegan crust, you take some of your dates, remove the pit, and tear them in half. Then you use the halved dates to line the pie tin. Now it's time to make your pie filling. For the eat it now version, you're gonna grab your frozen bananas, and you're gonna place them either in a blender or a food processor, whichever one you have and they're more comfortable with. Now as far as how many to use, you can just kind of eyeball however big your pie tin is. If you're gonna be making a full size pie, you're gonna want more. I'm just gonna be making one of the mini pies to show you. Now if you want more of the classic cream taste to your banana cream pie, this is where you can add some of your chosen vegan milk. And particularly if you use a vanilla flavored style, you're gonna have that sweeter taste. If you wanna stay on the more 80-10-10 raw vegan side of things, just add a little bit of water. And another option, if you really wanna sweeten up the filling of your pie, you can add some dates to the mix of your filling up to your sweetness preference. Blend it all up, and now you have your pie filling. Simply pour it into your pie tins and you can dive in right there. Now if you want to save some for later, maybe you've made a really big pie, you can store it in your freezer in an airtight container. This is also what you can do for the eat them later versions, and you make those simply by following the exact same steps, but using fresh bananas and pouring those into your pie tin and then leaving them in the freezer until they're hard enough and chilled to serve. So here's the real testament. Let's do a taste test. This is one with banana and date filling, and I actually left the dates a little chunkier in this one, with a date-lined crust. Yeah, it's good stuff. 
These are so sweet and delicious little treats, and they're good for you. I hope you enjoyed this simple bite-sized banana cream pie recipe. Feel free to try all of the different versions that I talked to you about and make up some of your own. And definitely let me know how they turn out. You can even send me a photo on Instagram at bitesizedvegan. Now head over and see the rest of the cruelty-free Christmas collab videos for more tasty ideas for your holiday feast. You can simply click on the playlist here or in the video description below. Give the video a thumbs up if it got your mouth watering and please share it around to spread the vegan tastiness. If you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Just hit that big red button down there. Now go head over to the playlist for all the delicious decadent details and have yourselves a wonderful, humane holiday. I'll see you soon.